from an unwritten poem, message in a bottle to our unwritten future. When I was a child, there was no library on our side of town, in our barrio, because, quote, no one there cares to read anyway, the city council said, they don't even speak English. So 60% of the children from our side of town dropped out and ended up in jail or in gangs or on drugs or as pregnant teens. It was too high a price to pay. When I was 11, a library was finally put in on the west side of San Antonio, only two miles from my house. And my mother would walk with me two miles once a week to let me get the books that I was hungry for. When I was a teenager, I poured through the library like a thirsted survivor, drinking, drinking, feasting, learning, microfish, computers, journals, books in foreign languages, everything I couldn't afford to buy. When I was in college, librarians pointed the way, suggested, encouraged, said, why don't you consider a master's degree or a PhD? I didn't. When I was a professional, standing in a classroom, the students looked at me with eyes windowing their minds. Lupe's mind who never learned to read because the books were in English and she was in Spanish. Andre's mind who was too big to fit in just one book, but had to search and search the library stacks to feed the hunger in his soul. Yanelli's mind who wanted to learn in the summer and learn on the weekend and learn in the evening and the only go to find the books was the downtown library because our school had no library. And Renee's mind that speaks so clearly, it rings like a bell in my mind forever, peeling clear like truth. Ma'am, how come when I used to go to the library, we had cool books, new books, and always someone there to help you. But now on the south steps of the Capitol in 2011, representing writers, readers, librarians, educators, and those committed to the public's right to know. And I toss this unwritten poem in a bottle to an unknown future, whispering, this is the finest gift we can give our future generations. Strong libraries to protect their haven for hope. For I know that to save our libraries is to save our voice, our future, and our freedom. Save our libraries. Save our future. Save our freedom. Thank you.